Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim Classic video. We are on the Metropolitan Line. So good afternoon driver. Take this S7 plus one. And on all stations stop a service to Baker Street. No reported disruptions today on the network. You're due to depart at 15.18. Okay, well let's get that all set up. We've got two minutes. Uh, I've had a little tiny go of this just to sort of see how to set the train up for this video. And I had a little look at the manual as well. So, first things first, do that. Uh, set that to chipcock. And then to do the doors, we do T and O. Okay, we've done it. We did it. I think I think that's all. Oh, and this as well. Because we don't have a duty number. We do, we've got the train number. So can we sort of just swipe that in? Oh, so that's probably not the duty number. We'll confirm anyway. Ah, well, it comes up anyway, doesn't it? Um, right, we are going... Well, the train's going to Aldgate. But, no, hang on, is it? Watford to Baker Street. Oh, okay, maybe not. So, we want... Baker Street... Um, slow. That one there, 231. Confirm. Should now be on the outside. There we go. Baker Street Metropolitan Line. Four zero seven. Okay, so that that is the train. No, is that the train? Yeah. No, it's done it for us. Anyway, why are the doors not open? They should be open. Shouldn't they? I forgot something. Oh, I hope I mean it says they're open on there. Look. Look there. Oh. Now they're open. Okay, now we wait. But yeah, this is Watford. A little sort of kink of in the uh, on the Met line. And this is a route by Just Train, so you just know it's going to be good. They're yeah, really happy to be on this route. So big thanks to Dovetail have actually uh, kindly given us a key to show this off. Um, lovely. It's a bit of red as well, isn't it? It's quite cool. Right, let's get the door shut. Hopefully the audio is alright as well. Right, and I think that's all. Let's go. We're off. To 10 miles an hour. And we stopped again. We're going slow. It's a very nice. Let's have a look at the map. So we are there on the little bit that sort of kink off the uh, Met line. You got... Uh, Amersham there is this one, is it Chesham? Yeah, Chesham up there, which is the little quaint station on the single track. Oxbridge down there, is that Rainers Lane? Oh no, Harrow on the Hill. Where's Rainers Lane? That's somewhere. Is that this one here? But where's Rainers Lane? No, hang on. Is that not on this route? I know Rainers Lane must be set up. Well, we're not stopping there. Is it rain? No. No, maybe it's not Rainers Lane. I'm thinking of the Piccadilly line. Or does the Met line not go through there? I'm very certain it does. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm interested now. Right, there's Uxbridge. Am I right in saying Rainers Lane is somewhere? Cause I've, I've been to Rainers Lane before. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that is there. That's on the up. Oh, hello. Let's pop that down before the train gets angry with us. There's another one. Um, but, word of wisdom. Not word of wisdom, but a little note if you are getting the Metropolitan Line. You'll probably, you'll probably, you'll get it. Just the, just the Met Line on Steam. But there's no train. Uh, which is quite cheeky in a sense, the fact you've got a whole route which I think is about 30 quid and then you get no train with it um, so yeah um, then you then have to get the S7 plus one which I think is another sort of 25 odd quid so yeah just, just a bit of just a, yeah, just a bit of a note there, if you are getting this route you get the route but you don't get any train on it then you then have to get this DLC 
it's about 50 60 quid in total for this and the train but it is a brilliant route i've, I've heard 50 50 and some a performance on it i mean at the moment we're running all right because that we're running sort of borderline smooth as did this, it's quite a detailed route and there's quite a bit going on. Um, so what we're running at, oh, it's about sort of 25, yeah, I mean, that borderline smooth. Um, that might, may vary on whatever system you've got. So it's quite frame heavy, this route. And it's quite good the way we're starting in Watford, so I suppose it's probably one of the smoother bits. Right, coming into Croxley. I'm just going to come out sort of a normal-ish speed. I suppose the brake should be quite good as it's the underground. Even though the underground is, I think, 70% overground. Or is it a short platform? Is there actually any short platforms on the tube? I know on the deep level lines, there's, uh, well, they're not short platforms, but they could well be a short platform. Uh, I'll do. Uh, right, T and U, I think, for this one. Do you have to press that as well? Is that a short platform? Oh, just about. Look at that. Just about. How many coaches is it? Is it eight? One, two, three. Yeah, eight. Well, this is Croxley. So, yeah, I think we then join up with sort of the main line um, after this one. See, what stations have we got? We've got Croxley, Moor Park, Northwood, Northwood Hills, Pinner, North Harrow, Harrow on the Hill, Northwick, uh, Northwick Park, Preston Road, uh, Wembley Park, Finchley Road, and then Baker Street. Wait for the interlock. We have interlock. Doors are now all closed. Let's go. Very nice. Yeah, I know this is a really, really requested route in Train Sim World. I mean, fair enough. We've got a red light coming up. It really doesn't really give you much notice, does it? The last one, well, was the green, I suppose. And this, was there a distant, little tiny distant signal? They got one there. If you're already going about 30, 40, you're not stopping for that. Oh, fog repeat. Oh, oh, hello. oh it's, a, it's some sort of approach control. I see. A little mini feather. Or a little mini junction indicator. Cool. Cool. You've got 80 hours, so I don't know if we can do that, but it wouldn't obviously be now, but I don't know if you can actually use that on this route. Possibly. There's a little tunnel around there, but yeah, there's a tunnel. You've got two green lights, we're lucky, aren't we? Three green lights, we're really quite lucky. We're being treated. See a slightly different signalling as it is the underground, you know, kind of distant signals and just different sort of uh, similar aspects. So, hello. We've got an invisible train. I'm guessing that might be the S8, which I don't think is included in the Steam version, although is it included in the JT version? I don't know. Or is that from the Chilton mainline? I know it's from one of them. Where you can you get like the model of the SA. Might have to reinstall that then. To see that. Alright, let's get that. Lovely. There's whistle on it as well. No horns on tube trains. Nice limited clearance sign. It's, de it's well detailed. I like it. There's a lot of, uh, lot of detail and attention to detail. There's 
always uh, very important. Right, coming up to the Moor Park. Sounds like a posh place. Where do you live? I live in Moor Park. A big mansion. Probably. Two greens there. The tube signaling is a little bit different to uh, to normal signaling. Oh, it's an island as well. Isn't it? Island platform. Oh, nice to be an island platform. It's on the right hand side. Oh, well, are we going to have a marker on this side? Have we? No. We don't. We have. That's a shame. Luckily we've got sort of a nice open window. No gangway in the middle. That will do. Right, T and O. And click it as well. Actually opens the doors then. Here we are. So I'm guessing this is quite a... Yeah, was that a line side signal? That's yeah, a line side signal, that one. These ones here. The ones with the X's on them. Might be slightly different on the tube, but on the National Rail Network, I think that would be a, a line side. Well, it is a line side signal on the National Rail Network, the one with the X. Cool, we got interlock. Let's go. Lovely start. Here on the net line. And it's quite quick as well. I think it's one of I think it is the one of the is it the quickest I think it is the quickest tube line. It's not surprising really. Oh So yeah, nice attention to detail. I like it. The next one is Northwood. So am I right in saying that on the right? No, it's not here, is it? I know at some point we do sort of go along the Chilton main line, sort of go alongside the Chilton main line, but it might not be yet. The S8, isn't it? That one there. Is that the S8 is that number S7 plus one. Sure. Now coming up to Northwood. I bet this will be another island. I bet they're probably all island platforms. Not travelled on this bit in real life. So that's not a well, non London, I, I don't really know this. Uh, I've been on the Met Line, just not on this bit. It's like the Northern Reaches bit. Northwood SB. I suppose well Northwood the southbound platform. Well. Here we are. Coming in quite quickly. As we probably should. Stay on the brakes on. These are very good, these station models, though. Well, definitely all custom assets, all completely <laughs> built from scratch. Right, T and U. Don't want to open the wrong. Don't want to do a wrong side door release. That's nice, isn't it? What's on this side then? Oh, nothing on that. Oh, is that the Chilton main line? No, because I don't know. That's fourth rail there. It's probably no. That'll be for the fast line. The fast met trains. I suppose it's quite cool, isn't it? Sort of its own. Um, its own sort of almost own main line, I suppose. Just for the tube. Nice. Let's go. North 
Foot Hills next. Doesn't knock me too far along. And it really does feel like we're in the city. Like some sort of some of those routes you get where even though we're, well, I suppose we're, uh, yeah we are yeah well, there's some routes where you just don't feel like you're sort of you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Whereas on this one it, it feels you know plotted. It feels like we're you know we're, we're somewhere busy. Buildings to the eye can see and yeah just a lot going on. Somewhere along here yeah, we'll uh, be past. Yeah, we'll be, hang on, it will be quite soon actually. We'll be passing over the West Coast Main Line and the Bakerloo Line, which I don't think is too far along. I don't think it's just been. I think we already we already have. No, I'm not sure on that. We we might have. Let's have a look at the map. No, no, not there. It's a bit further down. Yeah, well, we'll be crossing over the um, Bakerloo line. Here we are. Slam those brakes on. Try and have a sort of a gentlish stop. Best we can. Near enough. That will do. Lovely. That's good fun. Enjoying it. It's just nice. Well, it's just another underground line, which is cool. I don't know what time we were due here. Um, doesn't doesn't say, does it really? No. Right, there you go, let's go. Pinner next. No, why is it called the S7 plus one? Um, why not just the S7? Yeah, they've got S7 plus one. Yeah. Was, that, was that sort of the subclass of it? No, it's the S7, but the sort of one, I don't know. Where does, why, why S7 plus one? Because they've got the S8 in the game, but that's, called, that's not called like the S8 plus one. Someone will know. Yeah, it would be nice to travel on some more underground lines at some point. Although, probably not. Because if you're watching this near to release, the London Day Travel Cards, which are available to basically anywhere just outside of London, are going to. Which is uh, probably one of the worst moves of you know, what could happen if the mayor's done. City mayor. So where you used to be able to get a travel card for about 20 quid, I think, from where I am, to get into London. You could then spend, well, it would be your sort of return ticket on National Rail there and back. Um, and you could um, travel anywhere in Zone 1 to 6. Any tube, any bus, even the trams. And I think they're separate fare zones, actually. But yeah, all day for about 20 quid. Which is fantastic. But no, they're getting rid of them. Which is probably going to have quite a negative impact. Because at the station I work at, every, almost every single ticket going to London you see, sort of left over, is a day travel card. So when people then have to buy a return ticket, which I think is then about... It's just ridiculous more. Um, yeah, I'm going to be happy. 
and the moss sprays. <laughs> I guess uh, is that you're supposed to be a Sainsbury's, a Mor Morrison's. I mean, it's more like a Morrison's. Well, I suppose it could be a. I mean, Sainsbury's, but then it's not. They're usually orange, isn't it? Well, there's moss sprays. cab though in this one, you've got a massive you know, power brake um, handle, huge. Let's get that, we don't want that one on. I don't we've had that one quite a lot of times, have that one on. That will do. different in their own way. I don't I know mean, probably is some sort of reused assets but they're really really nice looking. Really well done. Quite a nice little detail I've just seen as well uh, is that sort of a faded poster. Or was it? No, I think that thing's supposed to be that way. Yeah, it's supposed to be that way. But that's cool though, all different posters and even the grip bins have the salt stuff I have that on. What's that delay's cut by 40%? Nice. Right, how are on the hill next? By the way, there's also a delay with the doors closing and the um, the bill lights going on. Feels busy. It's nice. So we've got many stations left now. How on the hill, not part of Preston Road, Wembley Park. We've only got 10 miles now to Baker Street, so we've done about half, almost half. Off the uh, distance. Yeah, certainly a nice run though, and yeah, nice to well, be on this route. Been so for such a long time. I've been like, oh, that's like met line, mm, a bit of go, and I thought we were going then. There's the, the the reviews on Steam, which if you are getting this route, probably get it from the Just Trains website. Um, Usually when you get it from there, it's better. Um, yeah, the, re the reviews are like mostly negative. And the reason for that is because there's, there's no train included. People have been getting there and been like, where's the train? And then basically put a negative review down. But if you're getting this route, you get it from just trains from the uh, website. extra bits. Although if you have got it on Steam, I think there's actually a plus pack, which I'm tempted to, I probably will get actually, there's like a plus pack, which will just upgrade, um, but this is a better. Around here, it's quite tight coming around there. Then, 
some Boris buses there on the left. Is that blue signal? Oh, that's um, that looks very similar to one of those um, spad indicator signals. Sort of like a, a highly spadded signal. It might be that. Would make sense as it's on the corner. So yeah, that could be that like, one of those high, highly spadded signals. It's one at East Croydon actually. I think on platform four. It's like a highly spadded signal. I don't really know how. As you get dispatched from East Croydon, I suppose maybe from a few uh, f through trains. Here we are. Is Harrow on the hill? Very sort of, is it Art Deco, isn't it? Art Deco design. Sort of 1930s. Or is it slightly more? Is this a bit newer? No, I think a lot of the Met Line sort of 30s. Oh, they've even got a. an Infara 200 MMC there. <laughs> well, we need we need to adjust buses. There's just flight, there's just trains. Where's just buses? Whistle thing, that whistle. Cool. Oh, we are off again. To uh, Norfolk Park. So, yeah, on this bit, oh, after this station, we should cross the uh, the Bakerloo and the West Coast Main Line. And so far, it hasn't. Cr I keep saving it just in case. It hasn't crashed yet. I've jinxed it now. Oh, all right. 50 across there. So weathering on the windows, and you can actually read the stuff as well in the in here. Well, we'll have a look in a second. Once we stop at Norfolk Park, we'll have a look. Which we are coming up to now. You got quite quick on them, it's the tube, so you've got to be uh, quite quick. Another really nice looking station. Yeah, you can actually read the, um, the maps and stuff. Which from quite a lot of trains are all sort of blurred out. So we are there at the moment, Norfolk Park, and we're going to there. Now at some point we'll do this bit as well, sort of the, the busy main stretch. But no, it's, it's really nice, really nice interior, very detailed. It, I mean, for the price you're paying, it you'd think, it, or you'd hope it would be quite detailed. It's a big old gap, look at that, it's a massive gap. I think on the right here somewhere, yeah, it's uh, yeah, on the right, yeah. You know, it's here, yeah, that's, um, what's that? What university is that? I can't remember what university that is, it's a, it's a university. It's not Westminster University, but like one of their campuses up, up here in Northwick. One of them. PA system. Up to cab. Nice. Uh, yes, we should be. We haven't already. I thought you missed it. Probably the likely case scenario. Oh, we have as well. Let's quickly do that pause break. We yeah, there's the Bakerloo line here. There's the Bakerloo or the Watford DC lines, and you've got the West Coast Main line here. So that is 
cool and we are speeding. I don't want to try and have a go at us, let's start slowing down. Got it's angry and breaks. So yeah, definitely now that that must be the um, yeah, Chilton main line now on that side. Looking station, detailed as well. Gotta be careful because we are on a bit of a downhill gradient here, I think. Yeah, that's, that must be the other model there. Looks a bit less detailed. Probably the same one. But... Yeah, I'll do. A slightly different one. Yeah, it must be. That looks doesn't look as good as this one. Or is it the same? Oh, it could be actually. Oh, that's two. Uh, probably the same one. I don't really know the differences between the S7 and the SA. What is the difference? Or is this the SA? That's why it's called the S7 plus one. Wembley Park next. Wembley would be on our right. Oh no, Wembley Park, hang on, Wembley Park is... The Chilton Main Line goes into Wembley Stadium Station, I think it's called. Which is literally right next to the stadium. So I know if we come over a little bit to the left of it. I mean, this one must go, the other goes to the right, doesn't it? So there's Wembley. English football. I've actually been there as well. I don't, really, well, I don't go to well when I was more sort of interested in football. I think it was um, yeah, England versus Montenegro, and we uh, won seven nil. It's like crazy like that. I'm back having to run out the stadium because it was like one of the last trains. It was a late kickoff, so it was like one of the last trains could get home. So I had to leave a few minutes early and let like it. Uh, down to the station. Is it just me? I mean, I think a lot of people, it just since COVID, it's just absolutely flown by. Time speeding up. Yeah, let's look just a little bit more. Right, T and O. At Wembley Park. I wonder if they've actually got the. Um, where are they? I've got to be careful, I don't want to crash in. I don't know, because yeah, Wembley Stadium station would be on. So there's Wembley Stadium. Looks very um, interesting. <laughs> Look at the model though for Wembley Park. It's fantastic. Really, really nicely done. I would love to see this recreated for Train Sim World. I mean, how cool would that be? Probably go down a tree as well. I'd imagine it would be very popular. <laughs> Finchley Road next. And you've got the sensitive edge, which I had a little read of the manual. The sensitive edge was something to do with... It can... Um, I think there's like sensors on the door, and it, it can sort of, it, uh, yeah, it can tell if there's something in the door. So if someone's coat something stuck in the door, it would be able to sort of sensor that. Something fancy like that.
I don't know if we can use the ATL on here. Two big buttons saying ATO start. Where's the ATO stop? Maybe it stops also. Uh, that's fine. It's going to 50 anyway. Massive, look at that. Massive old yard. That's probably where these trains are based out of. I think there's also a depot at Amersham as well, isn't there? Or was it Uxbridge? Uxbridge. One, one of them. So I think the London Trans no, it's acting. No, no. Hmm, I thought I saw that. That's <laughs> quite cool actually seeing that. That's an out of view signal that is. An out of view signal. Sort of a cover and then sort of taped over. I think it's, it should be an X, shouldn't it? Like a white X or something. But yeah, it's cool. It's quite a few actually, yeah. It's all about um, out of use signals. Basically a bin bag over them and then taped over. Oh, we could run the farms. Station here. Are we stopping here? Is that Finchley Road? What station is this? Which we're about to fly through. Near still, we're stopping there. Oh, we're a little bit fast. I thought we were all stops. I mean, that's what I've set the thing to all stations. In fact, it does say all stations on there, doesn't it? Now, when we loaded in, it's, I think it said all stations to uh, Baker Street. Right. Can we change that then? A little bit probably naughty using this uh, as we're going along here. Uh, trunk panel. I think we can do it whilst we're going along. I don't really think so. Has there been enough of one else this one? Is Dollis Hill? Is that no? That's not the Met line, is it? That's. Hang on, no. This. Does I think the Jubilee line up? The Jubilee line runs alongside the Met line, doesn't it? So these stops might be for the Jubilee line stops. So technically, we are still all stops, but we're not stopping at the Jubilee ones. Yeah, must be the case. How far is it to Finchley Road? Oh, two miles or so. And it's then Baker Street in four miles. That's when it sort of goes under. But yeah, nice to be bringing this to the channel, the Met Line. It's like we're a long time coming, but yeah, we got it, we're doing it. What's this one? Something green. Doesn't matter, we're not stopping there. Boston Green? I'll save it again as we're sort of coming up to the more central areas now. So the Jubilee must be in the middle then. We've got the Met on the outside. Those two must be the Jubilee in the middle. Still running alright, I mean we're still running about 30th, it's actually gone up since we've got a fair bit of profit. But you probably do need a fairly beefy machine to run this route. Otherwise it probably won't play nice. The model the models of the stations are fantastic that one here. Really Really well done. I mean, each station sort of has that its own unique feel, which a lot of sort of I suppose I mentioned TSW routes. Um, a lot of the stations 
to just have the same sort of reused assets, even though they might not even look at the real life counterparts, but I can guarantee without visiting uh, these these stations, um, although have we got to the bit yet where the Rainers Lane goes up? No, that must have been on no. no. I've been on the bit too, I've been on that bit there. But I can guarantee the stations will be accurate as they are almost probably to you know, real. Because um, it's just trains. That's what just trains do. They make fantastic products um, which well work uh, and are very detailed. So yeah, each station just has a really nice unique feel to it. I've not, I've not seen a station where, where it looks exactly the same to the other. It's really, really nice to see. Well, this is Finchley Road, quite a nice, uh, nice grandish station. Make me want to go on the Met Line in real life, to get on it now in real life, before the travel card goes. Still no wrong side door releases either, so that's uh, a good, a good one. Be interesting. That's one one station which we won't be able to see is uh, Farringdon. I'd love to see what Farringdon looks like. And Farringdon's where the Thameslink core goes through as well. Sort of Barbican and those stations. Into, well, into one of the tunnels. Sadly, you won't be in it for long, as we'll be ending at Baker Street. But for the next video, hopefully, we'll be able to go into the more sort of central part of the uh, of the route, which is like this. And I know someone's going to mention, turn on the cab light. No, because they don't have the cab light on in real life. You just see yourself in the window. It'd be the glare. But that's been yeah, a really nice journey that has, and uh, I mean the, the level level of detail on here is astounding. I and mean, each station just has that unique, its own detail, it, detailed feel. Under sort of the line side scenery as well, lovely. Really good, and I suppose the price tag does reflect it as well. It's twenty nine pound ninety nine this route. That's on Just Trains and on Steam. But if you do get it, get it through Just Trains. I mean, really, with any Just Trains route, get it through their own website. Because then you get all the extra sort of included scenarios and bits and bobs. And and then this is the train, the S7 Plus one. So you do need to have get the room and then also the train. So it is quite a bit in total. Uh, but I suppose if you like the look of what we've been doing here, that's uh, cool for you. Maybe that's not for us. That would be the other one, it? it? does look like it's for us though, doesn't it? Oh, it is. Well, that's not the main signal, was it? Oh, that was great, no. Uh oh. We've upset it. Uh, uh, right, yeah. Oh, I need to probably do that. I'll do that. Oh, okay. Well, well that was fine then, I suppose. Okay, so we'll just continue on. Oh, it's really. It's really not happy. I've, d I've done something to it. See, it looked like it was for the other side, but there's a green there, so that that's fine. Can we go now? 
Uh, right. Okay. Ship got a reset button. So that's like a, that's it's sort of like a safety system on the um, on the underground. Trip got a reset button. Where's that? Which one? Find that now. Oh, we got a protected manual. A oh, restricted manual. Where's that? Oh, there's restricted manual there. Right forward. Um, have we done the reset already? Where is the trip got a reset button? Apologies, everyone. Uh, trip got a reset button. Not that. Not behind us, is it? Oh, you got SDL on here. That's cool. Well, it gives us a little chance to have a look at the car. Let's quickly get on the big card so now I can see the ampage. Trip got a reset button. Where is it? Oh, well, we, well, we pressed the button down here, didn't we? Down... Down here, alarm of knowledge. Well, let's try that again. This is just a mile off Baker Street, and this has happened. Check what a reset button. Acknowledge that, yeah, acknowledge. Where is the trip what reset button? I probably saw it when I was having a look before, a little tinker. Alarm of knowledge, yeah. And uh, let's. Do that. Oh, hello. Oh, that's. Oh. Do that as well, maybe? And then change that to. Oh, can, can we just go back to the normal one? Oh, we've got to go to that one now, haven't we? Forward. Bear with me, we will get going. We, we might get going. That's it's it's more of a it might. No, not that. Not the cab door. God, we don't open that up. Well, we might be a bit stuck. As I don't know where this trip got a reset button is. Trip got a reset push. Well, where is that? That's the big question we're all asking. Probably should get the menu up. Oh, <laughs> there it is, right in front, of, right in front of us. How can we go? Well, it says we're fine now, so yeah, the brakes have just released. Oh, my boys go really slow. We're not getting any power now. Oh, is that because we did the bloody trick? Oh, I've done it. Brilliant. Right, go, go, go. <laughs> I might I might cut that bit. Um, hang on, we've already lost power already. Oh, there we go. That's the long old time. Oh, only 10 miles, but we've got the thing, isn't it? 10 miles an hour. When can we speed up? It's more than 10 miles an hour. Can we change it back to normal mode now? Come past the signal. Surely it's not 10 miles an hour. Take the mic. Where are those lights? I know I've turned on the cab light here. Well, I'm going to come to a stop again. I feel like we, we might now be able to speed up to to the normal mode. Right, let's try that now, right. Shift D. It doesn't let me, it doesn't let me move it. We're like stuck in that mode. There's not really a lot we can do about that. Ten miles an hour. We can't be having that. They're all going so well. And with that weird red light. Surely we can speed up. I'm going to get that on again. 
a little tinker as we're, as we're on the move. That's exceptionally slow. It would be nice to get to Baker Street, but I mean, at 10 miles an hour, it says we're going to get there in about. It's just going up and up. It's not very entertaining to watch, so let's come to a stop again. So ideally, I want to be able to get into the other mode again. Then we can actually go a bit quicker. For some reason, that seems to basically be stuck in that mode. I can't, I can't move it off of that mode. I don't think there's anything on, is there? That was already in that. So is it, is it just stuck in that mode? Just can't can't move it out of restricted manual. I don't really know why we can't. You think you'd be able to move it, but no, we can't. Um. There we go again. Really quite irritating. So it's stuck at 10 miles an hour is not ideal. Blind down as well. Hide ourselves. We didn't do it, I promise. Screw you, train. It's going so well. You're enjoying it. Try and move that. No. Uh, get there eventually. I just want to end it now. It's like quickly get to the end, finish. But it's just going up and up the time. Because it's still. Three quarters of a mile away. But overall, fantastic route. It's just annoying we've had this right at the end. With that weird sort of red light, which almost seemed like it was on the wrong side, but obviously it was on the right side, but oh well. at least we're coming out of the darkness, that's that's good. I suppose it's 25 anyway, so we're not too, too much better. Oh, that sounded good. That did sound good. Can we now speed up more? Is that all the brakes that or something came off? Or air, air gushed. As we are getting there, just a bit slow. But right, but the only thing we can do, I don't know, sort of how you reset that, because so that just yeah, didn't want to move. So it might be the only thing we've uh, we can do. But comment below. It's kind of passenger view. As we slowly go into Baker Street now. Slow and steady, I suppose, wins the race. At 10 miles an hour. So you've come all the way down from Watford, Croxley, Moore Park, all the way down there. Yes, yeah, so those stations, which we did, they're not on there, are they? Between Finchley Road and that one there. We didn't stop at. So yeah, we're not going to be going from Baker Street to Aldgate. We'll do that in another video, um, which I'm sure will be at some point. Which is sort of, I suppose, one of the other sort of main, well, no, it's a smallish stretch of it. The main part we've we've done the main part, but we'll explore all of the route. Why not? That was uh, that was awesome to awesome to do. Obviously, apart from this little. Uh, Interruption at the end where we can't seem to get above 10 miles an hour. But hey ho. All part of learning the road. That's another red light there. Let's come to a stop before that. What are these reds about? So many. This has been go past it, but I don't trust it. 
Yeah, red light. It does say we can go through, but... I mean, we've lost our slot. Oh, no, don't do that. But let's try and change that now. Now we're sort of at the next section. Am I, am I forgetting something? Am I, am I, or am I? Put that to max, maybe? No, it's, it's just stuck in that mode. Now we got a red here, but I mean, I doubt we're running late. And there's nothing else stopping us there. Well, let's sort of just go through it. We'll just see what happens. We might get the trip back again. But I don't really see why we'd be... Yeah, it's gone off again. But at least you go through it. It's obviously probably not the best thing to do, but... Right, let's try that again then. So... I thought we would have this anyway. Trip got reset button. We'll do that again. Okay, brakes have come off. Yeah, let's pretend we yeah, haven't done it before, so yeah, change that. It just doesn't let you change it. It's like locked to that mode. go again, we're going to have to sort of buzz our way past each of these um, signals. Which is not ideal, but um, we'll, we'll do it anyway. We're so close now, it would be nice to get to Baker Street. If it actually wants to move entirely now. Right, is there another signal? Oh, there is. There's one there. Oh, let's put going to the left. Well, here's another one here. But, I mean, it says we can go through it. They're, they're sort of at red for no apparent reason. Oh, hang on. We, oh, we got through that one. So, has it been me just driving weirdly? Or have the signals just been at red? Like, we had that... We come around the... The first one, we came around the corner... There was the red and there was a green straight after. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm missing some of the trains. Um, I have to say about the S8 again. But we are now coming into Baker Street. A bit later than planned. But we're now here. It means it's a longer video. So <laughs> hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And I suppose now you can see what you do if you go through a red light-ish. But we, we've made it eventually. So that's all what matters. We made, we made it. We finished the scenario. Have the detail at City and Whitechapel. We're going to hit the buffer if we try and stop on that marker. I'm not stopping there. There we go. Well, that is going to be everyone uh, here at Baker Street. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And the next one will continue down there or go wherever. Look at that, though. Uh, links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.